Hello, I am Red Eye, and today we are playing the Horus Heresy Dating Simulator. And in case you're wondering how to spell it, that's Horus with a W at the beginning, because why not? This is the 1.0 demo, and I don't know if the creator plans on updating it, but I hope that he does, or she, to include all the Primarchs. Uh, before we begin, I would just like to say that I'm sorry because my recording software messed up and I didn't get all the footage, but hey, what can you do? So yeah, let's get into it. Oh, I am Red Eye, and today we are going to be playing the Horus Heresy Visual Novel. Okay, let's get started. The prologue is under development at the moment. For now, what's your name? Yeah, yes sir, my name is... Alright, what's a good name for a s for someone? Uh, how about... Red Eye. Prologue is still under development. For the meantime, you'll start on Caliban with Lionel Johnson and the Dark Angels. A curse from the warp has turned the, has turned the Primarchs, including Lion, into girls. As such, it is your job to bring them in line, however you see fit. I'm gonna guess that involves some uh, interesting Slanesh stuff. Note that this is the first official demo of the game, and will be greatly expanded upon and reworked. I certainly hope so. For now, I hope you enjoy what there is of the game. The dust eventually settles, and you emerge from the battle, victorious. You enter a landing craft, which takes you down to Caliban. Your ship gently lands in an opening in the forest just outside the Dark Angel's castle. As, your ship, as the ship bay door opens, you see an envoy of Dark Angels approaching. Most look to be from the Honor Guard, but one in the center seems to be more important than the rest. You can, you can tell as such from the decorations adorning his armor. Clearly, he has been through much of the Imperium. He approaches you carefully. He, he and the other guards are obviously on guard. Uh, Greek, right, sorry about that, my recording software bugged out. Clearly, he has been through much for the Imperium. He approaches you carefully. He and the other guards are obviously on guard. Greetings. I am Luther of the Dark Angels. His tone is formal and friendly, surprising considering the circumstances. I am the chief to Lion L. Johnson, Primarch of the Dark Angels. You're a your attack has not gone without notice, but you did not destroy any of our fleet. Instead, it seems as though m most were simply disabled. It is because of that that we have no sim have no simply gunned you da gunned you up down upon landing. Should, shouldn't that be not right there? Not simply? That, and you do not look like you belong to any of the traitor legions. Heh, <laughs> ironic coming from a dark angel. As such, the lion decided to agree to your demands for an audience. I, I'm glad reason has prevailed. Quite right. I've been asked to bring you before the Primarch, so that you might explain why you have come. Now, follow me. He gestures for towards the castle. 
Of course. You follow him closely behind. He looks back at you, no doubt curious as to who you are. I hope you don't mind me being informal, but not at all. I was just curious as to what you're doing here, though I already have my guesses. No doubt it's about the condition uh, the Primarch is in. Is, isn't it's a bit obvious, no? To tell you the truth, it has become a bit of a problem 